Hey, I'm going to be doing the love tarot reading for the sign of Libra. Hey, if you like this video of any moment in time, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. I would love to have you guys back. I am drinking all my Coca-Cola. Excuse me, guys. Let's get started. Let's get the emotions um, behind your person that's on your mind and see what they're thinking about. Hope you guys enjoyed your Saturday, your Friday. Someone feels discouraged here. Trapped. Encouraged. All right. I feel like there's been a lot of, you know, it's been a situation here. Definitely, I see you guys not together. This person feels discouraged. They still feel attached to you, though. Um... And they may be getting some encouragement from their friends. And if you had an answer to one of your questions, the answer is no. If it's a yes or no, answer. All right. All right. What else is going on? person definitely is grateful that they had you maybe you did a lot of good things for this person so this person's reflecting on it and they're like damn i had it good over there man i had beaten potatoes over there i had some fucking toast with butter i had some eggs with toast over there maybe used to cook for them maybe used to cook for them they did something that exposed them for whatever the hell they did and now they desperately want to hold on to you Get into the tarot. Right. Let's deal with our energy for a Libra. Let's deal with our energy for a Libra. You may be finally opening up to somebody or finally wanting to talk to somebody, somebody you couldn't work with, somebody who was selfish or whatever. Um, somebody could have had a, you know, third party situation. I'm going to I'm not saying that for everybody. Um, definitely there's some fights. Definitely somebody could have been envious of you or something like that at your workplace. Just throwing it out there. Just saying that. Um, selfish person that you may have to speak to, may have to open up to. Yeah, this person wasted your time. Um, yeah. Could have wasted money on this person. Alright, that's what I got here for your energy under the deck. Right here. Alright. I see what you have to open up to this person now. They're willing to come back and speak to you. Mm -hmm. So I have... Could be dealing with a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, Pisces, Pisces, Scorpio, Libra. All right? This person wants to come back. At least this person is thinking fond memories of you. They think that you're, you know... You know, very, very fun to be around. Um, you show a lot of confidence. Um, you show a lot of happiness. This person's happy when they're around you. They also love having passion with you. You know, they love being around you. Um, you know, they just want a new start with you, man. The Ace of Wands, man. They also want to do some nasty things to you as well. All right. Clarify the sun card here. Clarify the sun card here. You could have kids with this person here with the sun card. This person's immature. Page of Ross, but they're a hell of a good time. They just have like a childlike spirit about them. Um, 
um, they definitely want to come and speak to you about the relationship, how it's, um, you know, it's, it's a page. You got two pages in here. You could be dealing with somebody younger. I got two pages here. If not, they're, if they're not younger, then they think young-mindedly. They might want to speak about the problems in their relationship, about, you know, the thing, the little fight or whatever you guys had. They want to speak to you about that. Um, they want to bring in the King of Pentacles. So they want to bring in more stability with you. But how can you come off like a page, right? How can you come off like a child, you know, talking about, you know, the little childish shit that they talk about, the little, the little childish things that they do that's petty and shit, but then they want to bring you to the King of Pentacles. How can they bring, how do they go from a page to King of Pentacles? That's going to be very difficult to do. So for those people who are thinking about taking this person back, y'all might be right back broken up in another week or so because I don't know how you can resolve something with a page mindset. Okay, Ace of Wands here. King of Wands. This person wants your attention. They want to bring you emotional stability. They want to release the burden. Hmm. Okay, this person can be very, very attractive, for sure. Want to release the burden. Okay, what is the what is the burden here? What is the burden that they're trying to release? Seems like they want to get back on the right track here with you, but they're a page, man. They're a fucking page. They want to come in and speak their truth. You know the truth that they're trying to speak. I don't know what it is really yet. I know that they're immature. I know they cause a lot of like petty arguments, petty things. And, you know, they're trying to be, they're trying to boss the fuck up, but they're trying to open up finally. Somebody who just didn't get it who just didn't get you. See, this is up earlier in the deck with the this one here and the overall energy. So yeah, that was this person trying to open up to you. Somebody who wasn't working with you very properly. Somebody who was really going against maybe your core values. Wasn't, you know, working with you. Somebody who was very selfish. They only were, they only were interested in what they wanted to do, their own thing, which makes sense because we do have the page of rods here. So that makes sense that somebody would want to come in and open up to you because there's only so much of this shit that you could take. Somebody just being about themselves, being immature like that. Let's get one more about why this person is this way. death they want to put an end i guess to being closed off with you they want to speak to you about that they want to put an end to some childish ways about themselves and they want to speak to you hmm you may be willing to hear them out you have the page of cups here even though this person has put you on an emotional roller coaster here in the background you see the water water is very emotional um, you, you, you still have love for this person, you know, but you have to meet them at a page level. So how could he get to the King of Pentacles? How could he get to the King of Pentacles if you got to treat this person? <laughs> You're going to get down super low to fucking deal with this person. Oh my gosh. All right, anyway, <laughs> that's just the fucking page. The King of Pentacles. You got to fucking... How do you want to get the King of Pentacles with the page energy here? Okay, anyway. That shit was funny to me. Yeah, this person put you on an emotional roller coaster. Two of Pentacles here. You just want victory. You just want to be in the place where you're victorious. You want to be happy. You may have, you may be getting a lot of attention from other people too as well, but I think you kind of are focused on this person here 
trying to trying to see if you could drag this at this page of cups along the road the long dusty road juggling their ass you know this person puts you through like sometimes it's like sometimes it's good sometimes it's bad you know what i mean but you still want victory with this person i don't care what you guys say you guys will still want victory with this person you could be dealing with the um, here I got it. Here I got a uh, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. Okay, Pisces, Hangman. So this person is just waiting on you. I feel like they're waiting to see if you're gonna contact them, gonna try to speak to them. Mhm. Mm they also might be sacrificing some things, trying to get rid of some things. I don't know if that makes sense to any of y'all. This person's done playing games. This person wants to come in and have a lot of fun with you, take you out, do things with you like that, you know. Um, nothing too too emotional, though. Um, but just, I guess, have a good time with you, have sex with you. I guess they want to stop playing their games this time around. Yeah, like I said, they're just waiting around on you. Page of Pentacles here. They're not waiting. They're not messaging you right now. Probably not messaging you much, if any at all. You know, they're just waiting. This person wants to travel to you, though. I would say that. <sighs> this person here. Why are they just waiting? Why are they not doing anything? Why are they not... Clarify that. So again, they're waiting. So I'm just trying to trying to find out something other than waiting here. See this man here? He's waiting. He's just peacefully just in his own zen, trying to think about, um, come up with a plan. Again, waiting, hoping something good's going to come in for them. Two of staffs. Using this. Okay. What else do you do besides waiting? Oh, they miss you. They miss you. Scare circles. They miss you. Okay. Give me something else. Okay. Queen of Cups. So they have emotions for you. I feel like they're wanting something, a good alternative to come through for you. They miss you. They're in their head about you. All right. But in the future, if this person keeps doing what they're doing, coming off as pages, um, being closed off emotionally, but now they're trying to open up. But if they keep doing that stuff, I feel like you're going to need a lot of patience, a lot of mercy to forgive this person and to deal with this person. You have to be bred for that shit because... This person's coming off like a child, and for all y'all grown people who watch me, you know, do you really want to deal with a child in their mind? It's fucking frustrating. They can have all the emotions in the world, but if they're just here for a good time and just simple love and you want to take it to the next level, some of you guys may want to end this situation for some of you guys. You know what I'm saying? Some of you guys can feel backstabbed by this person's childish behavior. I mean, when you're dealing with the person's emotions who's on the child level, you don't know what the hell they're going to do. You know what I'm saying? You don't know what's coming next. So some of you guys are thinking about just ending this shit because it's too immature for you. It, it doesn't put you in a position of power. Justice. Verify justice card. Yeah, some of you guys are walking away. Walking away from this shit. Yeah, you're done with them being who they are, being whatever the hell they're doing that's making shit deceptive. 
You know what I'm saying? You guys could be moving on. Some of you guys could be moving on and search for your cup of love. All right. Let's get to about the future. Yeah, you're putting an end to this. You want to be happy again. Again, this came up twice in your deck, so why not working well with you? Not not working well with you. This relationship is not working well with you. All right? No matter how much you care about somebody, because it's not moving forward. How that's that's what I was trying to say earlier in the reading. How can it move forward if you're coming in as a fucking page? If you're coming in as a page, then you want to move to the King of Pentacles. It, it just doesn't work like that. You don't become a fucking child to an adult. And the, and the shit that they start is little petty shit. This little petty shit that they start. You know what I'm saying? All right, how would this person be if they were to come in and speak to you? They come in and speak to you. Still childish. Still closed off, judgmental, creating conflicts again. Pay, look at this. King of Wands in reverse. Page of Cups in reverse. Still coming in childish. What else? This person can't change. This person is stubborn, man. But they want to act like they don't want to play games anymore. All right? They're going to act like they're going to lay down whatever the hell they were doing. They're going to say like, oh, I don't want to do that anymore. But they can't change who they are. <laughs> you know what I mean? All right. What about new? For those who don't dealing with anybody, what about new? All upright. Could be uh, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra wanting to rush in to speak to you very confidently. Wants to take a leap of faith with you. Could be doing. Could be Aries coming in here, or a Virgo who wants to, you know, tell you about all their secrets. So we got three people here, you know what I mean, who could possibly be coming in in this month, all right? All right, let's get some spiritual guide messages. Holy Spirit. We're getting Mary Magdalene today. All right, we have Holy Spirit here. We have, remember that only love is real. Miracles will occur naturally. Spirit has your back. Yeah, just let things unfold, you know, naturally, like it just said. You know what I mean? You have the divine inside of you, for sure. Expect some miracles. Remember that you are on a path. Take one step at a time to happiness. Yeah, don't try to move too fast in things. Let things, like I said, open up naturally. Teacher awakens. You have something important to share. Follow the inner calling. Don't let anyone stop you. Yeah, you might have some things you want to do outside of just a fucking relationship. So, you know, if this is not working, you know, pursue your dreams, man. Quarantine is up. You know, what else we got? Your gut knows what's up. Trust that bitch. Your gut wants to talk and it always has your back. All you got to do is listen up and not be a punk about whatever it's got to say. Even if you're fuzzy on the right thing to do your gut usually knows what the wrong thing is to do is okay maybe the right thing to do is anything but what you're tempted to do out of spite fear and impatience yeah probably that like 99 percent usually all right trust your gut man this person seems like they're immature and it seems like you need to call upon the tarot gods and end this motherfucker right now so they grow the fuck up. If you like this reading, be sure to like, share, subscribe to this channel. Thank you guys. Bye, Libra.